Hello, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to another video. Guys, you know where the fuck we are, so there's no need to say it. So, yeah, let's see what they have done to our Wendy's, and oh god, this is gonna be painful. This is going to be goddamn painful. But yeah, from what I see so far, Really, nothing has changed since last time we've been here, which is kind of disappointing. Like, if you're going to decimate the most holy establishment in the Waterloo region, at least be quick about it. That's all I'm saying. Y'all don't have to prolong the agony. Oh my god. You guys are assholes. Like, who's ever in charge of this whole renovation is just an absolute jackass. Lens check. But yeah. Oh god, it's cold today. <laughs> it is, it is so cold. But yeah. Literally. Nothing has changed. Other than the weather, because it's like fucking hell on earth today, but Wendy's wise, nothing has changed. Like, come on, bitches. Whew. Well, that's new. Some new wiring or something. I still have no idea why this half of the restaurant still looks pretty much identical. It's weird. And I don't know why a fucking Domino's delivery driver is driving past, so that's also kind of weird. But, yeah. What are they doing? Like, when we actually got to go inside, this part is completely gutted as well, so... Yeah. Like I was saying, I'm assuming they're trying to open the Wendy's first, then... start work on the well, but... it's hard to tell. It's been over a month and a half like this, so I'm assuming they're doing work in the interior. Lens check. But yeah. What did they do to my baby? <sighs> you are trespassing. Please leave the area. This area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded. Go fuck yourself! But yeah. Yeah, it's totally my fault they installed this whole video surveillance thing. Oh my god, guys! I have been recorded! I'm recording myself, you fucking dumbass. But, yeah. But it's kind of crazy. Bunch of fucking bitches. I was literally just talking about that yesterday in my South Cambridge Shopping Center walking video about how these motherfuckers literally just sit behind a monitor and watch these properties. Technically, I wasn't trespassing though because 
I didn't even go behind the fence. It scared the fuck out of me though, honestly. Whew. You gotta love it. You gotta fucking love it. Record this, motherfucker! Antagonizing the angry Ontarian is a very bad decision for you. Can he even hear me? Probably not. Hopefully he can. Because you're sitting here on a Saturday watching a Wendy's. How fucking pathetic are you? Let's call the cops. But yeah. Other than that guy being a cunt. It seems like they're just mostly focusing on the interior. Sorry guys, mom called, but yeah. I'm just sticking around now just to piss this guy off. Try me, bitch. Call the cops. I didn't go behind any fences, so I wasn't even trespassing. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. What do you think about this, Annabelle? You're going to die. My thoughts precisely. Yes, Annabelle's back, so... Bitch, please. Whew. I hope he can fucking hear me, though. I doubt it, though. Hey, how are ya? What a fucking loser. I'm not giving him the victory, so I'm just gonna stick around for a few more minutes, then I'll head out. You have been recorded! No shit, buddy, because I've been recording myself, bitch! Whew. I'm still pretty sure I am responsible for them hooking up the whole security system, though. But... That is what it is. So, let's go get our asses on a bus. How scary. A disembodied voice yelling at me. How the fuck was that trespassing, though? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I didn't go behind the fence, so... I'm kind of fucking confused, guys. I am honestly confused. Oh. 
so yeah. I didn't want him to think that he scared me off, so that's why I spent like another two or three minutes there. Just to prove that no disembodied voice scares off the angry Ontarian. No disembodied voice scares off the angry Ontarian. And if the cops ended up showing up, I would have done the exact same thing I did at Church's Chicken. Show them the footage, prove I wasn't doing anything wrong, and they would have looked like a bunch of dumbasses. Whew. So guys, I guess please stand by. I'll see you guys when the bus arrives and We'll continue from there. Alrighty guys, I am back. And we are currently on a 2013 New Flyer Excelsior. So, yeah. Fuck you, Wendy Security. Annabelle's gonna get you when you're sleeping. Oh boy. It's kind of funny, the amount of trespassing I do for videos, but the time I actually was in is the time they freaking threatened to call the cops and that shit. I love it. Lens destruction. Alrighty guys, I am back. I doubt that lens obstruction was even bad, but y'all know me. I am very obsessive compulsive and I ain't taking the risk, but yeah. Just the fucking irony of it, though. <laughs> I wasn't even trespassing the time it happens. Like, if I was behind the fence, I would get it. But yeah. And I actually do honestly believe that I am responsible for that being put into place because I actually went in there and recorded last year, so. Hey, y'all bitches. <laughs> Excelsior. These bitches are 10 years old now. These buses have been in service for a decade. It's kind of crazy to think about because these were the new shiny thing when I was at school and they're 10 years old. Bitch, please. It's not as bad that my cousin's about to turn eight years old and that one's freaking me out because I remember holding him as a baby and he's almost eight, but yeah. They were put into service in 2014, and yeah. GRT always introduces their buses a year late. For example, the 2022 hybrids were introduced last year, and the 2023 electric buses will be introduced this year. So, it's how it works. It's weird, but it's how it works. Whew. So we are on our way to Conestoga Station now. And apparently I'm gonna have to start talking over bitches because they be noisy. But yeah. Woo! What the hell? Let's just turn this video into a vlog. I was just doing one standalone Wendy's video, but yeah, bitch please. <sighs> Noisy fucking bastards. <sighs> Please stand by, bitches, and I'll see you guys at Conestoga Station. Alrighty, guys, I am back, and we are now at Conestoga Station. 
And that was the bad boy we were just on. 213-10. Beauty foul. Whew. So, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? I have no idea. We really can't go in the mall because security reasons. Alrighty guys, I am back. I do apologize, but there was a lens obstruction and the obsessive compulsive Ontarian strikes again. Bitch, please. But yeah, like I was saying, going into the mall would be a very bad idea because of security reasons and I've already been pushing my luck, kind of, so... Yeah. Antagonizing security today probably... is not... the best of ideas. So, yeah. Route 6 is an iExpress bus. Interesting. But, yeah. The day people understand that filming isn't a crime will be a glorious day for humanity, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. But remember, the act of filming is, eh, why can I talk? You blew it. The act of filming itself isn't a crime, but what you do while filming, let's just say that's a gray area. <laughs> How the fuck am I getting lens obstructions in the freaking bus shelter? This is ridiculous, but yeah. Ugh. Like I was saying, the act of recording itself isn't a crime, but what you do while recording, I would say that's kind of a gray area. So yeah, because some of the shit I do while recording is highly illegal and I recommend none of you do it, but I don't know. But the fact that I can't walk into a mall without getting harassed by a bunch of security is kind of pathetic. Like, what do them bitches do when the freaking jewelry store is getting robbed? They hide in their office. But what do they do when a guy with a GoPro walks in? They hunt him down like a criminal. Bitch, please. So yeah. Speaking of security, I thought we would catch Route 6 to head down to the Wiener factory and harass the Wiener police. Hopefully not, because I just want to show you guys something, but... If there is a Wiener police altercation, it is what it is, I guess. So yeah. We could take the Ion down there, but... We've been doing a lot of 301 content, so... I thought we'd get our asses on Route 6 and change it up a bit. So guys, please stand by. I'll see you guys when Route 6 arrives and we'll continue from there. Well, bitches, Route 7 is also an iExpress bus. I don't know what's going on. Because those are two pretty extensive routes and... Those buses were introduced in 2009, so they're really pushing them. Maybe they're trying to intentionally kill them so they can justify the purchase of 40 new hybrid buses, but who knows. But yeah, Route 7 I Express aside, please stand by and I'll see you bitches when Route 6 finally arrives. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Route 6 is an high express bus again. And that's the bus we need. So, I have no idea what's going on here, guys. Because that one turned into Route 21, and Route 6 is another one. Like, why is there so many iExpress buses on 6 and 7? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, bitches. It's weird. 
There's some fuckery afoot, my friends. There is some fuckery afoot. So yeah, guys, I honestly have no idea what's going on here. It is, it is weird. It is weird. Like there's no rhyme or reason why there are a bunch of iExpress buses. Because these are now the oldest ones in the fleet since the Gen 2s got axed recently, so... I think they're just intentionally trying to kill the bitches because... The region got a lot of flack when they ordered 40 new hybrid buses, so... Maybe they're gonna be like, uh, yeah, because all of our buses are dying on us. Even though it's more of a self-inflicted death because... Y'all bitches are putting them on the craziest routes. I think that is the reason, because when the 2007 Novas went down, you saw them on 302 all the time. Like, they were trying to kill them before they got officially retired. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. But yeah. Sorry guys, camera crept out, but yeah, like I was saying, these buses are pretty awesome. A lot of nostalgia because all the time I've ridden Route 200 and these buses were always in use. It's kind of like how 302 has their own Ion branded buses, 200 had their own iExpress branded buses. It's going to be weird the day the... Ion Excelsiors go out of service. Another three years, then they'll be about 10 years old. God damn, that's kind of crazy to think about, but yeah. I have no idea what's going on here. So yeah, since Route 6 is a pretty boring route, I am not going to document it, so I guess I'll see you bitches when we get to the Wiener Factory, and we'll continue from there, so fuck off. Alrighty guys, I am back, and we are now at the Wiener Factory, so hallelujah. Thank you. What the hell are they doing to my wiener factory? Like, what the fuck? Like, this is madness. Well, not really. The madness usually comes after they install one of those portable trailer things, so. I'm a fucking dumbass because I didn't notice the camera was at 3% when I started recording, so... Oops. You blew it. That one hurts. That one hurts. <laughs> How did I even manage to do that? By not paying attention, of course, but... Yeah! Like I was saying, the madness usually starts after they install one of these portable office thingies, so yeah. So it looks like the time has come. We might have to say goodbye to the Wiener Factory, which is going to be painful. I have some good news, but it also kind of sucks. So let's walk around and we'll get into that in a few minutes. But yeah, one of the first things you can notice is all the fencing is gone from the front of the property. So 
I can walk up to the front entrance. Seriously guys, don't go in here. Yeah, don't play around with asbestos. Asbestos is bad. Asbestos will fuck you up. But yeah. I have no idea why they removed all the fencing here. Looks like they fortified the fencing up here too. Like, what's going on here? I have no idea. Are you fucking shitting me? Another one? Another one? I think that guy's tire's fucked. Oh god. Yeah, you can just hear it. Yeah, that bitch is driving on his rims and that is usually not good. Whew. So yeah, so the good news I have is that this is not being demolished. They're actually repurposing the office tower and the distribution center and adding it to the new residential commercial neighborhood. So, which I think is gonna be really cool. Here's a couple pictures. Exposed, exposed, exposed. Yeah. How fucking cool does that look? I know it's another place we're not gonna be able to explore, but at least it's not going down. At least I don't have to watch her go down, which this one would be painful. Oh yeah, his tire is fucked. So yeah. So I don't know what they're gonna do with these two structures, but... You can tell by those blueprints that they're the same buildings. Which is super fucking exciting. Losing the Wiener Factory would have been painful, but at least when it opens, we might actually be able to go inside and see what's up. Imagine going into a repurposed. Oh my god! That is just exciting! When the Wiener Factory reopens, I will be there. Ugh. It's not nice out today. It's getting even colder and windier. Oh yeah. That is like super exciting.
You know what, fuck it. We're just gonna cross. And try not to fall. My ankle is still fucked up enough from last time. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh God, just twisted my ankle. You blew it. Fucking beer story incline. God damn, that hurt. is going to be incredible. Hopefully we can have like up to 10 million subscribers by then. So I could afford one of the Wiener apartments. Imagine living here though. That'd be fucking awesome. Yep, shit is going down here. All the equipment, bins. I bet you they're gonna start getting it soon. Oh my God. It looks like the Wiener police are minding their own business. That's incredible. But remember, that's still all proposed in blueprints, so... Unfortunately, there's still a good chance that they might take these guys down. Depends about the damage I get, but eh, why can I talk? You blew it. It depends about the damage, I bet ya. But... I don't know. Goddamn. they actually are able to salvage those buildings. I never got to see the manufacturing portion because they tore that motherfucker down before I started doing YouTube. One of my bigger regrets in life, but it is what it is. It seems like every time I find a place like this, something seems to happen pretty quickly after, which I don't know, kind of fucking sucks, but I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, homeboy in the red truck's tire. Ooh, that was fucked. Like that tire was absolutely fucked. He was 
definitely driving on his rim. And you know me, I know fuck all of those cars, and honestly, I don't give a fuck about cars, but I know that is a big no-no. Feel sorry for him though. His tire probably failed when he was just driving down Cortland, which, god damn, that sucks. this walkway soon. <gasps> Walking in the snow takes a lot out of you. But you can't let the weather stop ya. Dear old Dolores doesn't give a fuck if it's rainy, windy, or anything like that. dog would be a great way to end this vlog off. Oh, that was total, hey, well, I can't talk. You blew it. That was total sarcasm, but. And it looks like I missed my train. Wonderful. God damn it. Scary as fuck though, Jesus. Like you can fucking hear it like. It looks like I'm waiting another 15 minutes, so please stand by and I'll come back when the train arrives. Guys, I am freezing. I am goddamn freezing. And the train doesn't come for another... Seriously, Judy, you have to fucking rub it in. The train doesn't come for another five minutes, so... Whew. 
<gasps> it was so cold. So cold. I feel like I'm gonna die out here. Yep, there comes the northbound train. And I do not want to go back to Conestoga Mall, so. Ugh. Why is it so cold today? Why is it so cold? <sighs> I only have to wait another four minutes, so I am definitely not getting on this train, but God damn. It is so cold! Just kill me now! If I could come here one minute earlier, I would not be in this situation. Fuck you, Judy! I know! Yeah, she's definitely rubbing it in. They have the whole coupling mechanism opened up. Because when it gets really bad, they sometimes hook two of them up and plow the tracks with them. Hopefully Judy will be giving us the two minute warning soon for the southbound train. Oh, oh, oh it is cold. God help me. God fucking help me. Come on, Judes. Say it. A southbound train to Fairway. East Union. Two minutes. Thanks, girlfriend. So I have to head to Cambridge Center now to get the route 51 so I can go home and have a nice, long, hot shower. Because that is what your boy needs right now. Because I literally have icicles hanging off my nipples. I don't think I actually do, but it sure fucking feels like it. Oh God, just hurry up, train. Hurry up. Cue the hallelujah music. God damn, it is cold. It is cold. I don't think I mentioned that yet, but it's cold. All right, here it comes. Yep, the coupling mechanism is opened on that one too, so who knows? It was colder than Mitch McConnell's man titties out there. Oh my god. Yeah. 
if the plan does go forward with the Wiener Factory and they're actually keeping the two structures up, that's gonna be pretty fucking cool. And it looks like things are washed out, so please stand by for a sec. Alrighty guys, I am back and yes, I was correct. Auto exposure was activated and yeah. That's never fun to deal with, but yeah. It's gonna be so fucking cool if they actually are able to keep the two buildings. Like the homeless people have literally carved holes into the back of the office tower just to get in, so. It's hard to tell though if it's gonna be able to stay up Either way, we get to see it repurposed, or Andrew gets a more smashy smashy in his life. <sighs> it's almost good that that jackass at Wendy's yelled at me, because I got a vlog in, which is pretty good. Ooh. Disembodied voices and hot dog factories. Beautiful. What do you think, Annabelle? Why do you seem so scared? I haven't had her in a video in almost a year, so... Yeah. If y'all bitches remember Annabelle, you have been on the channel for a long time. Or you have been re-watching my old videos for some reason, which... Uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't be doing that. You really need to do something better with your life than re-watch my old videos, because... They're absolute trash. Look at that poor bugger walking out there. And that's poor bugger waiting at the bus stop. Judy should be giving us the block line announcement momentarily. Oh my god. I think I do have icicles hanging off my nipples. I'm still freezing. Thank you, Judes. the Tim Hortons that should have been turned into a Burger King. 
Yes, I know. It's been over two years and I'm still not over it. Because it's bullshit. They defiled my fucking solarium Tim Hortons. Because a bunch of bitches apparently needed their whoppers. During one of my live streams, though, one of my friends said he kind of had it coming because they tore down the frickin' Burger King to build Fairway Station, so it's kind of like payback. I wasn't even for the whole high on thing. I love it because it's here, but I could have easily lived without it, so. And no, bitch, that doesn't count. camera crap dough but yeah like I was saying there was a Burger King and Krabby Joe's at Fairway Station but back then it was called Fairview Park Terminal so yeah I don't know why they don't call it Fairview Park Station like Cambridge Center Station is named after Cambridge Center so Fairway should technically still be called Fairview Park. I don't know. Just one of the many random thoughts that go through my head. few days is supposed to be god awful so I don't know what we will be doing video wise but are the days I wish 302 extension was open so I could just stay on this train and head to Pine Bush or Camber Center or wherever I need to be right now but that's what time is it Pine Bush it is because I might be able to make 51 if I head there now so guys please stand by I'll see you guys in a minute and we'll continue from there Alrighty guys, I am now on 302 and unfortunately it is busier than tits, so I guess I'm standing on the highway. That's always fun to do. No it isn't because you have to hold on for dear life when you're on the 401. It ain't fun. Robert and Josephina. This bus is already trying me, so I guess I'll see you guys when we get to Pine Bush or Cambridge Center. 
either one, I guess. So, yeah. Please stand by and also go fuck yourselves. Alrighty, guys, I am back and we are now at Pine Bush. The Pine Bush intersection, to be more precise, because the station is in that direction, so. Now we're at Pine Bush Station. Wonderful. Yay. Thank you. Woo. I was about to say it isn't as cold here in Cambridge, but yeah, I take that back now. It's still equally freezing. Is that a freaking ambulance for dogs? You guys saw that too, right? I ain't just seeing shit, like. <laughs> I know I am completely off my rocker, but I don't think I'm at the point of seeing shit yet, so yeah. Speaking of seeing shit, lens check. Come on, let me cross. Come on, you cunts don't need your green advanced. Let me goddamn cross. I am such a miserable, oh my God. <laughs> I had that one coming. Almost fell on a fucking snowball. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I am a miserable prick apparently. <laughs> Not apparently, I've always been a miserable prick, so. Yeah. 51A Fisher Mill, three minutes, beautiful. Also, we have the long-term disability bus. Beautiful. He is staring into my soul. He is literally staring into my soul. I've never noticed his tie until now. That, that's an awesome fucking tie. How haven't I noticed that before? That bitch has an amazing time. Lens looks like it's okay. <gasps> Ow, my eye! Red truck. Somebody's insecure about something. This has been a weird vlog. I know all of my vlogs are weird, but this one has been more on the stranger side. So cold. One minute. I know it doesn't show on camera, but just to keep it. Yeah. Ooh. 
Mother Nature is being a total bitch today, apparently. <gasps> the only true god, Mother Nature. The only god that can literally wipe you off the face of the planet because she's having that time of the month. Yeah, Mother Nature is a sadistic bitch, and I respect her for that. She doesn't hide it. She doesn't pretend to be nice. Because Mother Nature has us all by the balls, and she knows it. And there comes Route 51. Hello fucking Louia. So please stand by and I'll be right back with ya. than yesterday. I was waiting for the bus yesterday and my hands just stopped working. Today, everything just stopped working. I don't even know what I'm saying. Because my brain stopped working. The literal definition of brain freeze, I guess, but... Oh my god. Ew. I'm, uh, Again. So guys, I guess I'll see you guys when I get home and we'll end things off from there, so fuck off. Alrighty guys, I am back. And I actually decided to get off at the other bus stop because yeah, it's an extra two minutes to get home, but it's all downhill, so... <sighs> I don't know why I do this more often, because I hate walking up that hill, and it's brutal. It's absolutely fucking brutal. Kind of like the cold right now. That's also extremely brutal. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. So yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's cold. It's cold. You know what? I'm gonna actually end things off in my kitchen because it's too fucking cold out here. So... Yeah, please stand by and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, I am home and thankfully I still have all my appendages because god damn it's cold. But yeah, not the longest vlog today but pretty fun, pretty fun. Disembodied voices, hot dog factories, freaking haunted dolls, what's not to love about it? <laughs> so yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. So if you like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing. If you absolutely fucking hated it, there's a button down there for you too. And my friends, like always, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.